Now I'm going to show you another uh, resource I use quite often. It's called Finale, and it, what it is, it's a music writing software. So let's say I want to go, I'm going to make a new project called Limbo, if I can type correctly. And I'm going to pick drums, drum set, add that, regular time, beats 120, all right. So here's my limbo sheet. This is just regular staff paper. And as you can see, it's the default start is an eighth note. Okay, so what I can do is I can take my CD and I can start writing it out. But I got a couple shortcuts. So let me tell you about that. So we'll, we'll save this open. And one really cool thing about Finale is you can import a MIDI file. And I happen to have a MIDI file of Limbo. So if I open that, this is the MIDI file, what a MIDI file looks like in sheet music form. So it's got all the different music uh, the in different instruments and down here the third line from the bottom is the first four bars okay so if I convert if I copy these first four bars into a separate thing okay I've already done that so let's open that up and that's what it looks like with a little I put the fifth bar in there just for the beat okay so now the really cool thing about this program is once again if I press play it'll play me what the music is okay so let's listen okay so now that sounds pretty good but I think there's some extra notes particularly in here with the hi-hat and maybe in here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and modify it to what I think it should sound like so and again to save time for this video I've already done that so what I've done is I've taken a couple of hi-hat notes out and this is from watching the video of Neil playing it and it's just evident that he's not playing in the places that the person who made the MIDI file had him playing. So let's try and listen to that. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear it a little better. Okay, so here we go. This is what I think it should sound like. Okay, so now that little whistle was just in a anomaly that I accidentally hit this note for some reason is the wrong note it's right in the staff but it for some reason okay so these are the weapons that I use that you should not be afraid of um, in order to learn how to play some stuff um, there's a lot of resources out there and you can do a whole lot with what you have and so those are the two kind of approaches that I take in uh, trying to break down what Neil's playing so now I'm gonna go to the drum set and do the hard work which is actually putting all this stuff, this knowledge and this um, computer power to work on the drum set in old style drumming with sticks and stuff. And uh, so that's how I do it.